How's it going, boys? Welcome back to another video. This will be a quick little video I made. Um, basically, I, I joined this new guild, and we're doing fucking great. I, it's called Unsatisfied, and I've been super... <laughs> I've been having a lot of fun, honestly, with the, with the guild. And uh, This was our parse week, and so we decided to go all balls to the wall, and I decided to go fist weapons, because I'm going to parse high, I'm going to use fist weapons. Um, one thing I always, I always preach in my streams, always be different, and uh, it, 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 it's the greatest thing, so... Using fist weapons, basically, there's there's a certain way you actually have to play it, honestly. Uh, as you see, I go Tiger King right there. Big damage, big damage, 300. It's easy. Uh, so, I'm just going to go over the fights real quick. Um, uh, start off with Razor Gore. Basically, keep slicing up at all slicing dice up at all times. You're going to need that up all the time. Uh, sprint if you can to get to the mobs always, so you can just keep damage pumping. You'll know, keep it flowing, baby. Uh, just gotta keep, keep 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 on the mobs. Stay in the corners if you do the corner strat. Stay in there. Uh, you uh, you can pop CDs on this fight, but if you uh, if you pop CDs on this fight, you might not have them for veil depending on the momentum of your raid. Um, personally, uh, I I I would usually sap her. I didn't in this, but I usually sap her at the very end just to you know, squeeze a little bit of damage out. But again, if you pop CDs on this fight, you might not have them for veil. Um, so, let's just jump right to the next boss. Um, so, like I said, this will be a quick little video, so we're just going to fly through this shit. <laughs> so, on, on Veil, uh, you're going to need a swing timer for fist weapons. That's the number one thing. It's just like you're playing swords, but with fist weapons. Um, basically, if, if you still have if you have your CDs, blow them on this fight. I didn't because we were speedrunning, but you're going to be spamming slice and dice. Fuck the threat meter on this fight. You're going to, uh, like, as soon as you finish, as soon as you finish Razor Gore, um, you're gonna pop a greater fire protection, so you have it for uh, if you need it. Actually, I, don't, I didn't need it, but um, you're gonna pop a greater fire protection at the very beginning of the fight, and you're gonna pop one in the middle if you can. Uh, pop all CDs, like I said. Use Thistle T. Um, surprisingly, actually, you can use the, you can use Thistle T in this. Um, there, some people say don't use uh, CDs on that fight, but honestly, depending on the, mo uh, the moment of your raid, you can actually, uh, if you time it right, you can get a tick with the unlimited energy and a tick with adrenaline rush to always, always, always keep you at 100 if you time it right. Um, <clears throat> for, uh, for the next fight, which is Broodlord, um, you're going to you're gonna want to use a FAP or living action potions. I didn't have any in this part, but you, FAPs, and you'll see where these come in handy. I actually lost a lot, a lot, a lot of damage due to the blowback. Um, that, that he does, and it, it just kind of really fucked me over, honestly. And uh, if I had a fap, it wouldn't have, uh, the slow really wouldn't have affected me. Or honestly, I think a living action potion would have been a lot better. So yeah, basically just use a living action potion, um, use a sapper, blow all CDs if you have them, and just go fucking balls to the wall on this boss. Uh, the next boss is going to be Fire Maw, and that's going to be a fun one to go over. But for this fight, basically, just watch your swing timer. Depending on your ping, you're going to want to swing at 0 0.5, or you're going to want, if your ping's super high, you're going to want to use your Strike at one second. Um, either zero, you should just strike at 0 0.5 or use it at one second, um, to, so, so it doesn't fuck up your auto attacks. Um, and it just, just pump. Make sure, again, keep slice and dice up at all times and you will be pumping like a motherfucker. Um, on to Fire Maw. So basically, Fire Maw, you're going to need a full fire resist set for this. Um, I, it's a little late in the BWL, so you probably don't actually need it. But for me, um, I decided to switch into all of my shit and go balls to the wall on Fire Maw. Um, Personally, I could have stayed in, but I chose not to stay in. But for Fire Maw, you're going to need to pop as soon as you're done with Broodlord, depending on the momentum of your raid, you're going to want to pop a, a greater fire protection immediately. So you have it for the beginning of this, uh, excuse me, for the middle of this fight. Um, the, the fire protections help because, you know, you're going to be soaking those fucking things. And for me, I had the, the Uber's buff too. If you get the Uber's buff as well, you're going to be fucking blowing up the meters because you're going to be able to eat those fucking stacks and resist. Resist, you're going to be dropping all those stacks. Um, so I, I had all my fire resist gear on I had. Um, I didn't put my hit trigger on. I went, I went and stuck with it with a black hand's breath to two crit. So I stuck with that. And uh, make sure your shamans are putting down the fire resist helmet for you. If they're not, go ahead and yell at them because they play a shaman and they're basically just healers at this point into the game. Um, but again, Uber's buff super helpful. Uh, I had all my fire resist on. And I was able to stay in. But uh, I also then again I chose not to stay in because I, I don't know why. I, I'm be honest with you guys. I have no idea why I went out. But um. Uh, again, if you're going out, you're losing damage, but okay, let's say you do choose to go out and you have uh, You have some combo points on the boss leave them on the boss. Don't fucking blow sinister strike. Uh, excuse me um, Slice and dice uh, if you blow slice and dice and you run out You're gonna be taking away time and that's you, you're, you're losing time on your slice and dice and it's honestly god It's really not worth it. Just 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 save your save your points on there like like, like me um, I think I have like about four four on there and I blow it because for a big a big eviscerate because I already had four points I would say if you have over three or eh, if you have four or five points blow it on eviscerate 
Um, or honestly, depending on the momentum of your raid, you could even blow it on a slice and dice and just say, fuck it, dude, because it's going to be 30 seconds. You'll be fine, right? Um, as you see here, I, I, I went and I, I decided to come out because I had high stacks, but I was resisting resisting so many, I probably could have just stayed in. And our healers were full mana, and I had I have a lot of fucking health. But that's, that's basically all I did for that, for that fight. Just keep pumping, just keep pumping. Make sure you have health boss to, to, to take slack off your healers. And uh, uh, use Thistle T when needed. I'm pretty sure I scuffed it here, actually. I scuffed the Thistle T. Yeah, I scuffed it right here. Um, but uh, use Thistle T a little bit more earlier on for either another Sinister Strike or a big boy Eviscerate. Um, but on to the next one, we're going to Ebonrock. Um, so Ebonrock and Flamegore and honestly, even Chromagus take effect to your, um, to your CDs. If you blow all of your CDs on, um, on Ebonrock, then you won't have them for the next fight on, on uh, Flamegore. Uh, vice versa, if you use all of your CDs, depending on the moment, on the moment of your raid, if you blow all your CDs on Flamegore, you will not have them for Chromagus. So keep that in mind. Personally, I would, like I, like I did here, I would blow them all on Ebonrock. Just, just blow all of you, go fucking balls to wall on Ebonrock. Um, blow all, you don't really need a uh, fire resist buff for this. Um, just watch out for, you, you could have, if you feel like your tanks are dog shit, um, which if you're doubting them, they probably are dog shit. But uh, if your tanks are dog shit, then you might want to put your owning cloak on because you might get hit by the shadow flame and that will fucking evaporate your ass. So make sure you have that. Um, and this fight's pretty fucking simple. Like I said, the biggest thing is is, is if you're going to choose to use, use your CDs on this boss, or if you're going to choose to use your CDs on Flamegore, right? Um, but personally, I would just go with Ebonrock. You know, you, use your Thistle T. Always, always use your Thistle T. If you have the ZG Trinket that gives you set, uh, 60 energy, um, you can uh, Vanish swap that out too. Pop that. It has a three-minute cooldown. Pop that. Um, vanish and put on your Black Hands Breath or Hodge. Um, but on to the next one, like I said, uh, we're just going to fly through these. You know, let's make a quick little video. I, you guys don't want to watch a 30-minute fucking video, dude. Let's just make it short and sweet, am I right? Um, so, Flimgore, um, if you don't have your CDs, then you're just going to pump idly into the night. Um, make sure your Slice and Ice is up. You're not going to have Thistle T. Uh, same thing, same thing though. You can sap at the end. Uh, just just keep your, just keep pumping. Basically, just keep pumping. Um, for Chromagus, honestly, this is the funnest fight, in my opinion. Um... I, I got super unlucky here actually. I got fucking um, bronze breath immediately. But uh, make sure you dude, don't don't fucking cheap out. You buy some sand or maybe you just ninja some sand that drops, you know. But make sure you have your sand. For this, okay, you're gonna wanna pop all of your fucking CDs either in the beginning or if, if you get a good if you get like time lapse, you wanna pop them all during time uh, uh right after time lapse. Uh you don't wanna pop all of your CDs and then um be fucked out of dps because you have to run away like right here i still have i still have a lot of time left on my um blade flurry and i had to run out i should not have popped that where it was because as those are gone um that's faster attack i'm I actually lost dps doing that um one big ass pot that you're gonna want for this is restorer pots that, that's a fucking that's a beginner's guy dude everybody knows to have restorer pots for this but the sand also helps as you see i sappered right there that is because it was fire resist you need to sapper or even if you're fucking cheap dude then you know just use a fucking iron grenade you know that does fire damage and it's gonna uh the chromagus is fire resist anyways so that's basically all for that fight it's chromagus is super fun use uh, thistle, uh, thistle tea watch your cds don't fucking blow them when, they're, when uh there's about to be a breath you know just just be 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 aware of that sap when there's a fire resist use a grenade if you're a cheap ass and restorative pots always 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 because you don't want to wipe your raid um on nefarian nefarian's super fucking easy dude um uh, from what I've heard, the parse doesn't start till you touch Nefarian, so the trash doesn't really matter. But uh, just, just try to build up some combo points, and at the very end, like I did, at the very end on the very last mob, try to get a slice and dice on it. So when you're running over here, you already have a slice and dice up, and you don't have to worry about wasting combo points for uh, you know like, like a slice and dice. So for this, you're gonna want to put your cloak on, obviously. Um, but one trick you can do actually, the cloak's only really used for the very beginning of the fight, so you could throw on your other cloak and vanish it. But uh, sometimes it doesn't work, so you know, like, like for me, like uh, you'll, you'll watch me hit vanish and it just didn't work. Um, uh, you're gonna want to use a sapper, also, fucking sapper is free damage, why not? Or also, another one, the Stratholme of Holy Water that also works to kill the undead things that run at you towards the end of the phases. Um, but personally, I would just use, um, I would just personally use. I actually got fucked up right here. I got feared and kind of late to the, the damage party, but eh, it's whatever, you know. I still got, still got a little bit of damage, and that's all that matters. Um, you're going to have your basic consumes for this. You're going to fucking go balls to the wall in the very beginning. And if you're undead, for me, I, I actually suggest going balls to the wall in the very beginning because if you get feared, you can just use Will the Forsaken out of it. Um, but yeah, that's basically everything, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. I love you.